all around in this area. The ranchers burn off and you just it's just what you live with. Firefighters are exhausted after a wildfire has been raging through Oshaleta. Weather conditions, of course, made it very hard for firefighters to put out those flames. News on 6's Sawyer Bussey continues our team coverage from Washington County. The wildfire scorched 800 acres of land in less than 24 hours. Rebecca Moses says she was worried the flames would burn her family's house too. We could barely see the house for all the flames and the smoke. Moses says strong winds pushed the fire through her family's property. After burning acres of land, the flames stopped just feet from the family's home. It was very scary because I couldn't tell at that point if the house was, you know, going to be damaged. Um, much less the livestock that we were worried about. Longtime Oshaleta resident Robbie Scott also had a close call. I'm used to it. I've lived here all my life. It happens every year at this time. It's the first time that I know of that the cemeteries caught on fire. Once the fire moved and the roads to the cemetery cleared, Scott came to check the damage. All the flowers are still there. It just burned right up to it and went out, I guess. Firefighters from 11 different fire stations came to help, working against the wind to keep flames from touching houses or schools. They're volunteer and they don't have to be putting their lives on the line and they're in desperate need for donations. On the scene, on the story, Sawyer Bussy, News on 6. Okay, so speaking of those donations, if you'd like to help with them, we have a list of drop-off locations on our free News on 6 app and on our News on 6 Facebook page.